functions can be represented in three different ways. They could be represented as equations, tables, and graphs. Um, one way you might see it is in a form over here as y equals 2x. Now you also need to be careful because in some texts and in some tests, you will see it represented as f of x equals 2x. And really these two statements, generally speaking, are fairly interchangeable. It just means that 2x, that your answer is going to be a function of x. So your output value is going to be a function of whatever you put in for 2, for x, sorry, and then multiply it by 2. You can just think of it whenever you see it as y. In our textbook, we will just be seeing it mostly as y equals. Now you could also see a function represented as a table of x, y values. And then you could also see it represented in a graph. In this case, we just have an x value and a y value. So let's take a look at one example. Janice plans to enroll in Spanish class at a language school. She has to pay a registration fee of $100 plus $20 for each hour-long session she takes. So if I want to represent this as a function, uh, represent this function as an equation, um, I'm going to head, I'm going to go ahead and write an equation. So y is my output. My output is a function of the $100 fee plus $20 for each hour-long session that she takes. So depending on how many hour-long sessions. And there you go. So you could see that x is going to be my input value and that's going to be the hour-long sessions. And y is going to be the output. That's that uh, final price of my function. Now I can also represent this as a table. Where at zero hours, it doesn't really make sense. I don't know why you would pay the registration fee but never take classes. Anyway, um, at zero hours, I, my total cost is $100. At one hour, my total cost is $120. Two is $140. Three is $160. And then if I were to go ahead and graph this, it would look something like this. Let's see. Um... On my horizontal axis here, I have time in the hour-long sessions, and then the money. And we can use the table for our graph, and we could see, let's see, there's 100, 120, 140, 160, 180, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So at zero hours, I've paid 120, or sorry, at zero hours, oops, let's undo that, do, 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 there we go, at zero hours, I have $100, at one hour, my cost is 120, two is 140, 160, and so on. Now all of these points um, land on a line. Because they all land on the same line, and they're mostly on the same line, we can go ahead and pretend. Because they're on the same line, they represent a linear function. So that's the first function that we're going to look at, and it's called a linear function. And again, you can represent it as an equation, as a table, and as a graph. All functions really should be identified as an equation, table, and a graph, or could be identified that way. So here's a quick little challenge for you. Is the equation y equals 3 a function? Think about it. Think about what the table would look like. Think about what the graph would look like. And that might help answer your question.